I have spent so much time meticulously hiring every single person on my security team. And I look at some of the mind-numbing tasks that those people have to perform. And if I can enrich their job by implementing AI for some of the automated responses, and then they can use their critical thinking skills for the things that give them energy, for the things that we do need human element, human mindset around. So I had a full-time employee who spent 80% uh, of her time uh, evaluating our logs, right? terabytes of data, and, and you have to evaluate the logs. And so with the introduction of, of AI, um, it, it, what, what took an employee hours to do, AI is able to do in a few minutes, and it goes through those logs, and it eliminates all the false negatives, so that what's left are things that we really need to look at, and that's been huge for us. If you have a secure-minded organization, if you are going to look at any new technology capability that you're going to utilize and build security into it instead of bolting it on at the end, that is one of the ways that CIOs, CTOs, and CISOs can help lead their organizations through this. So any single technology um, implementation, you know, new technology that gets done, you have to make sure that you've got the right foundation in place for it. Because we did we learn our lesson with the cloud? You can't forklift stuff from your on-prem into the cloud. We need to take a cue in that regard with AI as well. Make sure you've got the right foundation for it. Get those that architecture built. You have a SOC analyst and you have a co-pilot, which is your digital SOC analyst. They are doing the threat intelligence. So now you have a co-pilot, he'll just train for that. And you have co-pilot, he's finding the risk, doing the risk assessment. So you are changing that model in different patterns. So a lot of innovators, they are coming up and uh, creating that model and you will have, uh, your job will be uplifted by your co-pilot. It's not just the, the CISO, the CIO, the CTO. You, you need someone from the general counsel's office, um, someone that understands cybersecurity law, your privacy office as well, making sure that we are, we are cognizant of the fact that data rights management that happens across all of this. We have to make sure that our, our end users are educated on understanding um, what is acceptable use of AI. Mm -hmm.